guys welcome back to our channel welcome back to another five weekly favorites and happy friday yeah it's friday so five favorites as always first i guess i'm going to talk about the christmas thing because we had a long week this week mm -hmm. we decided to decorate for christmas and before you come at us we didn't do the whole house we didn't like hang stockings or anything that's only because we really ran out of like options for places to put things kind of but we didn't hang our stockings because we're gonna wait until we get our christmas tree to do that and then we get a real tree every year so we don't get that until like after thanksgiving usually mm -hmm. so we did our mantle and the piano where we put like our little christmas village mm -hmm. that we made a couple of years ago and that's really it oh and then like a little in the kitchen mm -hmm. little tree sprinkled here and there but a bar cart we got the thing that like sparked it really well aside from like the bad week <laughs> was that we were at target the other day and saw these glass christmas trees and we bought two sets for like either side of our mantle and then we just like were really excited to decorate the mantle and these are so nice like i saw them online mm -hmm. and i wanted to see them in store like i was gonna you know if you've ever ordered things from target that are fragile they always arrive broken so i was going to order them online i'm like no they're just gonna arrive cracked so we found them in store and they are so weighted and nice and have like this beautiful gold paint on the edges. This is technically the medium size. It's only $10. Such a good deal. And then they have a small size that's only $5. And we just did like two on each. We have two bottle brush trees on either side of the mantle, like on left and right mm -hmm. um, aside from the TV. And then two of these. And they are so pretty. The like lights on the mantle shine through them love they're so such good quality for the price they've been getting if really good reviews you see us posting our mantle don't judge us that the tv isn't hung i feel like we've addressed this but the walls in this house are just too old to hold yeah we've tried the tv so that's why it's not mounted yeah we also don't like how it looks so yeah that's, we get it we yeah. get it um but we love how it turned out we love these trees and i feel like they would fit into anyone's like christmas mm -hmm. decor Okay, we have like a new mascara favorite. So Wander Beauty sent us their new mascara. Thank you so much. It's the Upgraded Lashes Treatment Mascara. And I'm not even sure what makes it like a treatment mascara. So yeah, like I didn't do too much conditioning research. agents in this or something. But besides that, it is just such a good mascara. We're both so, so impressed. Yes, and I like that all our mascaras come in this too. Me packaging. too. Um, I've worn it like every day this week. I have it on right now. And I think my favorite thing about it, so it's like a molded wand. And it's like an hourglass shape when you hold it one way, but then sort of like rounded when you hold it another way. And the bristles are very small. So it really gets like every lash. It's super easy to apply. Like it's not one of those that's, it's very dry. Yeah. So it doesn't get messy. Like I can apply no. this quickly and it doesn't leave me with like a mess everywhere. And my favorite thing is that it like holds all day and it doesn't smudge at all, which is so rare for it's me. It's really like fluttery. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm obsessed with yeah, this. Yeah, I still think their Unleashed Mascara is one of my favorite mascaras Really? Ever. I like this more than that. From what I remember, I really love that okay. mascara, but I would have to compare them because I haven't used it in a while. Mm -hmm. But they have really good mascaras. They really do. Okay, next up is a new brand to us. This is called Minori, and they reached out to us about trying some of their products, and definitely the standout product from yeah. everything they sent was the highlighter, the cream highlighter in the shade Champagne, and it comes in this really cute little chic It's like a glass jar, glass jar yeah. which we love. We love glass packaging, and I love the color, like their branding and their mm -hmm. logo. Everything looks very chic and nice. And it's a true champagne color. I guess I can swatch it. I will say the jar is really, it's probably it's, should have been more yeah, shallow. It's difficult to get the product out. Um, but that's like, you know, a side note. This is like, it's a really, I'm going to try to describe it. So to the touch, it feels very like thin and creamy. It's not like a but thick product. But it's hard. Wouldn't you say it's like a hard? Yeah, like it's not like emollient, yeah, really. It, yeah, it's not like those highlighters that you dip your finger in and it immediately like melts. Like it feels substantial. I'm sure but you can thin. see this. Mm -hmm. It's so thin that like it just blends out really seamlessly. I just use a synthetic brush and it just adds like an ever so soft <laughs> glow to the skin which i love that's what i look for in a highlighter yeah. i love that it's i've been using, sheer i've just been using my finger and i really love it it's very sheer it dries down to like a powdery finish like it doesn't mm -hmm. not sticky at all yeah at all. it feels like drier like you said it's yeah. not really emollient which i like so yeah i think someone with oily skin would love this but we agree have, we have like dried cheeks and mm -hmm. i really like this i love it we didn't love the blush so much yeah it was a bit like too dewy and sheer too, yeah but 
I feel like no one talks about this highlighter, and it's really it's what, good. I really want to um, try Fido Surgeons. I'm probably mm -hmm. going to order, like, their highlighter. Mm -hmm. And this is how I imagine, like, people describe that product. Yeah, that's Where true. it's, like, dry in the pan, and you don't really think you're getting any product. But then when it goes on the cheeks, and that's what I love in a cream highlighter. I don't mm -hmm. want something that's, like, sticky yeah. or too oily, too emollient. And it just looks really natural. Mm -hmm. And we were really impressed. Yeah. We both tried this, and we're like, wow, that's a really nice product. Yeah. I actually forgot that you had it in your bathroom. Yeah, I've been using one. it every day. I know, I was using it every day too, and then she wanted to try it. So. Yeah, because they had a gold shade, but the champagne just suits our skin. Definitely. Color. It's definitely much better for us. Yeah. Um, okay, I have another makeup favorite. So, Devin Dev's Day kindly sent us some makeup that she wasn't really using. So nice. And we were going to purchase from, is it, how do you say it? Auric? 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 Auric. Auric. Mm -hmm. um, Sam Ravindel's line when it first came out. I think we had mentioned this, but we were like, oh, I don't know if, like, you know, it, like, it's not, like, cheap stuff. Yeah. Um, and I still really want to get the Glow Lust for, like, a highlight. I just product. wish it came in a smaller size. I, I wish, would never go through that see, much. I wish that she sold, yeah, like, a blister pack to mm -hmm. see what shade you were. Yeah. Because they do seem really flexible, but it makes it even more confusing. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the little eye duos, like, this was the shade we were both going to buy. Like, I had it in yes. my cart, and then we were like... Oh, like I don't want to spend the money. And Devin sent this to us and it was such an unexpected, pleasant surprise. And it's the shade Temper. So this was like the more like rose gold of the um, is there two just two shades or is there more? Three. Than? Oh yeah, there's mm -hmm. that like gray. Yeah. And then the brown, which looks really pretty. And then this is supposed to be like the rose gold. And the reason Which she recently changed. This one? Yeah. Oh, she made it vegan. Yeah, so it changed yeah. the color a little bit. Oh, it did? Mm -hmm. Well, um, Slightly. Yeah, so uh, the main reason I didn't buy this was because I felt like from her description, it was going to be too much like Tom Ford Golden Peach, which is like one of my all-time favorite products. And it's the same exact thing. It's like, you know, the cream base and then like the sparkly topper. So I was like, well, I already have that. But th this shade is so different than what I thought it was. Like, I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, actually, me too. I don't even know if I would call this a rose gold. Mm -hmm. To me, it's, it's so like it. cool tone that it almost looks like kind of like a like a metallic pink that's like like has a lot no, of No, I think it's a taupey pink. Yeah, like a taupey pink, but like has like almost like that slate gray in it too. Well, that's taupe. You yeah. Call this a taupey pink. But you used I took, a lot. Yeah, I took too much. Whoa. Um uh oh. What do you do? I don't know. Um well, I have a little bit on here so you can see it, but it really is yeah, kind of like a taupe. Yeah, I guess like a taupey pink. That is, it's just so cool toned. Like when I think rose gold, I think more of like something brighter and like more pink. Yes. And so, I mean, I love taupes. Yeah. So I've been loving this. I wore it, like I brought it with me when I was in Michigan and I wore it like one day there. And I just like, I really like the formula too. It's, it's actually very different than the Tom Ford, which I thought it was going to be, again, like the same thing. They feel really similar when you touch them. But this one is like, it kind of dries down more. Like. I feel like similar to that Minori highlighter, actually. Yeah, actually, where it, it definitely like, dries down. Kind of dries down to like it's not really emollient at all. Like it dries down on your yeah, eyes. I love this color. I might we maybe we can swap. Yeah, <laughs> because of that, um, I feel like it lasts really long on my lids. Like I said, Tom Ford Golden Peach will always have like a very special place in my heart. But I find that this formula lasts way longer on my kind of oily eyelids than that formula does. I still love that color and I feel like the reflex in that are what make it so beautiful. Whereas this one, I much prefer the base color, but I wouldn't say like the reflex are like anything like crazy unique. Like I don't know but if you've I seen like, the time for, but it's like stunning. Like all these like beautiful reflex. I like that this one is subtle. Yeah, it's like it's more my yeah, So it's more subtle than the Tom Ford in a positive way. Like it's like, I basically have just literally been dabbing this in and like putting it on my eye and blending it out quickly and like running to the office like every day this week and I just love how it looks. It lasts all day and it's more of like I would say like almost like a satin. Like it's yeah. not like a high metallic Which finish. is something I also love. Yeah so it's like really really perfect for every day and I'm just so grateful she sent it because now I kind of want to order the brown shade because I just find that this is like yeah, like, but I will say I wish that they sold it kind of separately because I yes, don't love the again, topper. Yeah, the topper, I don't love the topper. The Tom Ford is way, way supreme. Uh, we love Sam, by the way, so no, yeah. like, no, I love her so much. And honestly, like, coming from, but, we obviously work in PD, yeah. and she's done a really good job. Um, for like, not really having experience, we're not really having like, 
experience and yeah. like listening to her customers and making mm -hmm. things better and make more sense. Whereas a lot of like other influencer brands, yeah. I feel like they have a team that knows yeah. knows what they're doing yeah. and they handle yeah. it and then they don't of, really handle 10 it. Ten out of ten business owner. For yeah, her. Like, she seems to be killing it mm -hmm. in that aspect. And this brand is stunning. And like I said, now I just want to support her more because yeah. I really love this for everyday use, which I thought it would be more of like like my Tom Ford, yeah, where I just kind of use it on special mm -hmm. occasions. But now I'm like, oh, this is like not too metallic. It lasts all day. Like this is perfect for everyday. Yeah. So now I kind of want to get the brown shade. And like I said, I've always wanted the Glowless product. Just have no idea what shade I would be. But I'm gonna swatch the um, the uh, top around. Okay. Now it's looking better than, I think I had some cream on here. Okay, now you can kind of tell. When you wipe it, it just kind of like, I don't know, it doesn't like stick down yeah. as much as you want it to. I think it needs more of a base. Yeah, I was going to say, the, just the glitter. base you pigment know what I mean? kind of like goes away and you're just left with this like, almost like silvery reflex. But I'm saying like, they physically didn't include a base in here. Yeah. Doesn't it feel like just I think pressed it was glitter purposeful. pressed really hard? I think it was purposeful to go on top of the, here I can put it on top yeah, of the Yeah, I guess. But I just don't really love that, um, that look. Like I like it when it looks more like refined. I don't know. I just don't love the topper. It just kind of like falls off and doesn't really add much to the, I just love the cream base. That's yeah, what I'm getting yeah. at. And so I'm with Britta. I wish that they just sold these. But again, I feel like Sam really listened to her customers. Yes. And yeah. I bet we're not the only people saying uh -huh. that. And they'll probably do something similar to like how Charlotte Tilbury, or I mean Tom Ford, they they ended up selling. Oh, they did? Yeah, they just never launched Golden Peach by itself. Mm. But I actually ended up loving the Golden Peach topper. Um, but yeah, they ended up selling some of their like popular shades just in the cream color with not the topper. It's also like cheaper for them. Yeah, so, so I hope that she ends up doing that because... But I, I might buy the brown regardless. Do you, you think she's going to have a sale? Really nice. Maybe. I know she just like restocked recently. <laughs> she just restocked recently. Yeah. This is a long video. Um, okay, moving on then. The last favorite this week is an app favorite. It's called the SETI app by Hannah G from the Bachelor franchise, if you're familiar with her. She's really cute, lives in San Diego. We like her. Um, and she came out with this editing app called SETI. And it's funny because... <laughs> I actually included this on our favorites video last month and like I was calling favorites. it the wrong name. And so I had to delete that whole portion of the video. Um, we've all been there, I'm sure. Well, maybe not you guys, but we say the wrong thing all the time. Yeah. Um, and I really like it. It's kind of reminiscent of the Tezza app, if you're familiar with Tezza. I also love that app. We have both. Um, whereas you kind of like upload the pictures you want to edit. You can save like your favorite um, filters mm -hmm. and you can adjust each one so like you add it's kind of like Lightroom like where you add a preset and you can adjust it you can do the same thing in SETI where you can adjust like the contrast shadows brightness all that but I really the thing that I think sets it apart from Tezza again I love the Tezza app she has some great edits for like video I think she's done an amazing job and she's definitely like a leader in that industry so I don't want to like discount hers but I think what I like so much about SETI is Hannah's edits are way more subtle. Like there's one called Natural that just edits the photo slightly, which I feel like is kind of what more people are doing these days. Like more people don't have like these overly edited photos. Mm -hmm. So I really like, like if you saw, yeah, um, we never really, really ed like overly edited our well, photos. Well, I think for a while, like the presets out there were kind of overly edited. Yeah. Like, you couldn't find something that was like natural mm -hmm. looking. So we like used the ones that we felt like were more natural and then we've, progress like people have released more and more but and we, we just like make our own and yeah but I'll post a picture of a couple of pictures we posted on Instagram using the natural filter because you probably couldn't even tell there was like a filter on there it's not like a filter but you know what I mean it's just like a s s slight tweak to the edit of the photo and I love that and she has some really pretty black and white edits as well which is really hard to do I feel like ABM a beautiful mess yeah, there's so their good. black and white presets are really good um, but I've never found one that I liked in like Visco or Tezza mm -hmm. and she has some really, really good black and white edits. Um, and it's really easy to use. And I think you can plan your grid in here too. We use later to do that. So I don't do that, but 
I'm really impressed with it. I really, really love it. And if you like to edit photos on your computer, I still prefer to do it in Lightroom, mm -hmm. like on my desktop. I prefer to do everything on a desktop. I, I should just put We're that out so there. We're so millennial. We're so millennial chuggy, as they say. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's chuggy, using a desktop, probably. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, but if you like to edit on your phone and you like just like a more natural, subtle edit and something super easy to use, I highly recommend this app. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. This was our five weekly favorites and we'll see you next week.